Hello guys, uh, my name is Burak. This is the my first video. Today we are gonna talk about MVVM architecture. Actually, it's a part of MVVM architecture. We are gonna talk about V model and live data. Okay, let's begin. And first of all, file new, and we are gonna uh, create a new empty project. This is the test live data and click OK. Okay, today uh, we created a simple uh, live simple uh, application. Uh, first of all, uh, we have to add uh, some depend uh, dependency uh, inside the build Gradle uh, using uh, live data and view model. Open the uh, browser and write. And okay, copy this uh, and paste inside the dependency. And okay, we model for this. Copy and paste. And live data is this. Copy and paste. Uh, after that, Click seek now. Okay, we will successful. And then, uh, first of all, uh, I wanna create uh, UI design. As I say, this is a uh, really simple uh, application. Uh, change this layout, uh, not constraint layout. It's a should be linear layout. And we have to add orientation vertical. Delete this text view uh, we are gonna create edit text web content web content and I want to add hints enter any number and uh, we have to give some ID here ID is edit text and close And now uh, I'm gonna create some button, one button. Wrap content, wrap contents, uh, takes is uh, sends, and ID is button. Okay, close this panel. And also we are gonna create uh, one takes view. We wrap content, wrap content, and takes. Uh, your number is here and change size take size uh, 26 sp and give some id 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 text with and close uh, this tag and okay our application ui is ready and uh, you can uh, you can write any number here and after uh, after click send button and uh, your text is uh, inside of this text view okay our ui ui is ready and after uh, click the uh, java folder and we are gonna create new package package name is view model inside this package uh, create a new uh, kotlin class uh, this class uh, our v model class and uh, you can take any name here main v model okay and after that as i say this is our uh, v model class uh, we have to extend uh, v model class v model and okay after that i will create one parameter uh, And this parameter uh, should be multiple multiple live data. And here, and this type is uh, string. 
after that uh, we are gonna create one function function name is uh, overrides and uh, there is one parameter inside uh, this function uh, input type table string and inside the function uh, we are gonna uh, add uh, text value input okay inside the main activity we are gonna create uh, some parameters uh, this parameter should be late in it var uh, if you want to uh, create v model object like this you have to use late in it var okay and after that v model view model provider dot e model provider this dot get uh, main v model class java and okay this is our uh, object v model uh, parameter i forgot the one thing uh, the uh, kotlin extensions for give or find uh, ID names and okay sync now and inside the main activity uh, button dot set on click listener uh, inside the set on click listener and v model dot uh, write function Write function edit takes dot text dot to sit and uh, we take uh, our data uh, inside the edit text and if you want to uh, use uh, this data you have to create some observe uh, observable v model dot text dot observe this observed and okay inside this uh, observable object text with that sets text not set text text it starts to setting And okay, our application uh, code is done. And okay, uh, time to uh, run our application. As you see, launch success. Uh, if you write any text here and after uh, click send button, as you can see, the text view is changed. The text view, text view changed. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. As I say, this is my first video. If I made any mistake, I am so sorry for that. Subscribe the channel and write some comments.